Hello everyone, it's the scene tarot. So today we're going to do Scorpio. Scorpio, welcome, welcome back to the channel, you guys. This is going to be your full Scorpio. How are you guys doing? Yes. So I'm excited to see what's going on with you and your person, Scorpio. We're going to go ahead and do two swatches for the present and the future. We're also going to do your feelings and your person's feelings, okay? Let's see how things roll today for scorpio scorpio please what's going on with scorpio the person that they're speaking to the person that they're thinking about if it does resonate you guys remember to like this video give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel also the description box there will be your place playlist in case it doesn't resonate with you and also guys go over to the instagram y'all and support your girl as soon as we hit that 5k mark i'll definitely start those free personal readings for you there okay so let's get started. Also, you guys, I'm having a special on the read-ins, okay? So I have a 10-minute read-in for 55. So the information will be below, or you could just email me on my email, the scene tarot, tarot at gmail.com, okay? And ask for a read-in for that price. I will update my instagram page but i just wanted to announce it here as well okay because i know you guys want a read in but you guys are tight <laughs> in the pockets so i did a special for you and that will just be the special honestly for that 10 minute okay i think i'm gonna leave it up there as well for you all right so let's get started all right, we have the lovers, we have the death, we have the six of pentacles. Ooh. Okay. All right, I'm seeing this lovers here. So there is some kind of connection between um, you and this person, okay? There's a passionate connection here. I'm also seeing the death here where this situation might have ended between you and this person, okay? Or um, this person is either stuck into their feelings or into themselves, like they don't learn from a situation like that happened, all right? I'm definitely seeing the Six of Pentacles where you're helping each other to go through this. And then I'm seeing the devil here. So there's a lot of like... I'm just saying like someone here is really passionate about this person or have this connection towards this person, but at the same time, there is this like stuck feeling like someone is stuck in a rut, someone can't move or can't move forward here, but you know, there's a balance coming between you, like you're make, trying to make a balance between for you and this person to go through this, but they're just devilish way. So I'm thinking like someone is very stuck into something else. This could be a family situation, or this could definitely be a toxic behavior like drugs, drinking, um, sexual addiction. Like someone is going through something here that they cannot really get out of, okay? Maybe gambling for some of you um i'm definitely feeling like there is a lot of love here okay like you guys fell in love very quickly you guys are falling in love today um you guys are willing to just jump back into this um relationship okay and this is what i'm seeing i feel like i don't think it's an end here but i do see you guys have a problem with this relationship like there was a lot of bumps in the road here not only with this person being stuck into something and physically physically can't move out of it i feel like you know it's a it's a it's a lot to do with maybe um like it doesn't have to be actual death that's going on here but you know that could be the case but I also just feel like this person haven't learned from this situation that occurred. Like why this relationship ended. Ooh. Let me get these cards. It fell on the floor, you guys. <laughs> so, yeah, like, they just don't understand why this relationship ended. They're not really understanding or learning from the situation. This is what I'm getting from that. Okay. They could be manipulative or as well in the devil. Very, like, very addicted. Like, they don't want to let you go kind of thing. Um, let me see what else. Angels, what's going on for Scorpio? What's going 
going on for Scorpio. I'm seeing the Empress, the Six of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Two of Wands. I'm talking the Ten of Wands. So I'm feeling like this person, like someone def definitely decided to like move forward their lives because this right here was too hard for this person to carry. That's what I'm seeing, like somebody is carrying this whole relationship on their back and they're tired. They're like so tired. It's like so draining here. Like they're going up the hill. No one is helping them. Even if they do ask for um, help, they feel like it's just not enough here. Okay. I'm definitely feeling like the eight of cups, like this person just left, left this situation, walked away from the situation. I'm seeing the nine of pentacles here where someone lost a lot in this connection, lost a lot when it comes to money or it could be, you know, there's this relationship period, like a lot of investment that happened in this and this person lost a lot, but you can see all these pentacles and they're just in some kind of, sorry about that, that's my phone, there's some kind of, um, money issues, maybe they lost their job here, I'm definitely seeing like, you know, there's a disappointment going on. Like someone here is definitely someone that lives in luxury, someone that ready for a commitment, someone that is very hardworking, very trustworthy. Um, someone might be pregnant in this connection as well, but I'm feeling like this person is like, well, I've been holding on to this whole relationship and you've been a disappointment in the six of wands like you told me that you were going to do this and you're going to do that it was like based on lies here like everything was based on lies and i think this person is recognizing this whole thing right now but i feel like someone is highly stuck because you know i i'm definitely feeling like it's a situation where someone fell in love based on lies and that was very hard for this person to let go or let this relationship you know be tied tied up or you know moved on from this situation it's just like they're stuck into their feelings this is what i'm feeling here I feel like somebody's trying to move on, but it's still hard. All right, so we have, yeah, the Nine of Swords here where someone is going through a lot of depression here. Somebody's crying a lot. Somebody's having anxiety. Um, I feel like, you know, someone is thinking about the situation a lot. Um, they don't see a future um, because of all these swords. I just feel like this person is like, what should I do now? It's like, it's a continuous feeling that this person is going through um with this it's like a depression here you know a lot of depression here because of this connection and it's not over this person is living in through that feeling every day um we have the nine of wands here we have the king of cups and we also have the knight of swords all right so I feel like, you know, someone is burned out completely. I feel like your person is willing to stay working on this relationship, but you might be ready to walk away from this situation. I feel like this person in the King of Cups gave you an empty cup or an empty offer, knowing that they are, they gave you an offer that they know that they couldn't fulfill or they wasn't ready to fulfill here. But this person still loves you, but it's like they can't be who you want them to be. This is what I'm hearing here. Then we have the Knight of Swords here where this person is just not ready for a committed relationship a lot is going within them but they're willing to fight for you it's like this jealousy of not they don't want anyone to have you and that's what i got in the devil you know the devil being here like there's some kind of addiction going on not just with this person this person could be on drugs or this person could have a sexual addiction but it's with you as well where they don't want to see you with anyone else you know and this is why they're rushing in and trying to fight for your hand because you know not because they aren't 
understand anything that you you're feeling because they really don't. They're stuck into their feelings and they're like, why are you so mad about this? If anything, I'm the victim here. I'm going through this. You know, that's what they're doing. And it's like, but they're willing to go into this because of how they feel. They don't feel like a decent person. So this is going to make them feel like, okay, you know, they did something right, you know, and that's why they're rushing in. Okay. Not because they, they understand you any kind of emotional in any emotional light. This person is an emotional person. Okay. Um, I feel like, you know, there's a lot of praying here and hopefully manifestation. And also the angels want you to consider this as well. If you're not doing it already, this is important because this is the time, but I also feel like the judgment is also being called. It's not confirmed as yet. Like a decision is not met here as yet in stone. Like, and this could go for you as well. Either you're not completely over this person. You're not completely shutting the door. You're not completely, you know, deciding that, you know, this is over and done with. You guys are still open to a possibility that this might just work. Okay. And you're keeping hope alive. So I'm very much seeing prayer here. I'm seeing manifestation. I'm seeing, you know, meditation here, trying to get this person back into your life or this person is doing this for you. Okay. So let's see what's going on here with some messages. All right. This what messages do we have for Scorpio with this relationship? Can I have a four card, please? Of guidance. Four card of guidance, please. To Scorpio. Scorpio full. Scorpio full. Let's see what the angels have here. We have 79. We have number three. We also have, let's see, these cards are like sticking together. <laughs> 52. And then we have 46. Okay. On the back of the card, we do have 76. So I'm feeling like this possible is a person that you know from for a long time okay this person you know tends to bring the kid the kitty way out of you the childish way out of you you're very comfortable with this person okay i feel like this person gets you like this you feel comfortable you feel safe but at the same time or this could be your best friend this is what the vibe that I'm getting here. So I'm getting 79. I feel like there's going to be some answers coming towards you where you you like it or not. You're going to get the clarity. And let's go back to the spiritual manifestation here. How we have a confirmation of this is what needs to be done here. Manifest in whoever you're praying to. This is necessary. The angels want you to get close to them. Not just call on them when things are rough, but call on them when things are also good. You know, this is what they're saying here. They want to build a relationship with you. Okay. Um, definitely 52 here. I'm seeing 52 as well, where you're going to have some kind of realization. Okay. Um, I'm getting like, you're going to, it's going to be like an aha moment for some of you. You're, you're in the dark right now, but there is going to be light. Okay. And finally 56, where I feel like there is going to be, um, some kind of lesson that needs to be learned. This lesson that is necessary in this situation where it might be, um, it might just take a little bit of time to get where you need to be here, okay? So let's get entwined with your feelings for this person and your person feelings for you, okay? I'm going to turn down my phone because I don't know. I have this, um, I don't know how to turn it off, you guys. I think it's this one. No, nope, that's not it. Okay, I'm just going to turn it down because I'm not sure. Oh, here it is. Because every time I have a get an email or something, you guys can hear it. So I'm trying to turn that down. 
all right scorpio so let's see how your person feels about you first and then we're going to get into your energy as well okay using the witch deck so let's see well how does scorpio person feel about scorpio what is their intentions moving forward for this connection what is Scorpio person's attention? Attention. Thank you. Scorpio's person's intentions. Scorpio person's intentions. Thank you. okay so we have the emperor the king of cups here and then we have the 11 11 all right so i'm seeing like i'm seeing like there's single life right now okay that this person is living all right like they're not thinking about a celebration they're not thinking about moving forward they just want to be single and they want to have fun now they do want abundance with you scorpio but you know right now they feel like you know manipulation is the key and you know this cup right here is just not going to last okay in this connection let me see what follows in the back a third party situation third party situation this is a third party you know i was trying not to say anything with this three of cups here because it also means a third party as well like somebody that this person brought into your bedroom um that without your approval but i also feel like um for some of you it could be just being single you know being wild you know taking on the day <laughs> with other people um but this is definitely a third party confirmation with this three of swords behind it you know this person is ashamed they don't have any confidence in coming to you and telling you the truth about this and they're holding back so you could be dating an aries leo or sag as well and also seeing scorpio cancer or pisces okay so what scorpio energy towards this person please what is scorpio energy towards this person What Scorpio energy towards this person moving forward? Thank you, angels. I see the three of swords, you guys. Wow. Scorpio energy towards this person. Okay. Let's see what comes out. How does Scorpio feel towards this person, please? Moving forward. What is Scorpio intentions? Wow, you know this person is an Aries, Leo, or Sag energy. And you're not going to put any investment in this. You know this person has cheated on you. You have the Seven of Cups here. <laughs> you feel like you're cutting off this person. Whatever they, you know, even if they come up to you, you're blocking them. You're definitely feeling like you are not investing any more time or energy with this person. Because for some of you, um, you you're saying everything that I have done for you, you choose to do this to me. You choose to do this to me. I'm going to be nosy and see what's going on on the back here. So there's a cycle with this person. This is not the first time they do this to you. And this is what you're saying. Look, it happens over and over and over again. Wow. All right. Um, let's go into your future here and see what we have for you and this person in the future. Okay. Scorpio. Let's use my deck here. You know what? Let's use another one because I'm being drawn to this one as well. All right. Scorpio, please. What's going on for Scorpio 
and their person in the future. What do we have for Scorpio and their person in the future? Scorpio and their person in the future. All right, so we have the King of Cups here in reverse. We have the Two of Pentacles. Wow, the Five of Cups. Okay, so I definitely feel like in the King of Cups in reverse, like this situation is just not going to last. Like this is what this person is saying. I'm seeing the Two of Pentacles here where they're going back and forth with something and they're ready to make a decision, okay? Ready to make a decision about two people here. I feel like they're living in some kind of regret here or they made a, a really bad decision or made a bad choice, okay? Um, and now they're trying to correct this. I'm also seeing the Five of Swords where this person devastated you. This person put you through a lot. So, Scorpio, I don't know how you're going to handle this because it's like embarrassment and this is a person that's coming back to you. I'm seeing the Ten of Cups here where you're looking at this person like they're crazy because this is someone that, you know, betrayed you, someone that didn't take responsibility, someone that was very cold and want to win at all costs here. And I'm also feeling that this, this person, like you're looking at them like this is not the one that you want to be with anymore but what is sure is that this person is really just you know not the one for you i feel like this person brought many tears into your eyes a lot of devastation here i'm seeing your friends trying to you know like you breaking down at, at certain times when you're thinking about this or talking about this it just brings so much tears to your your eyes okay and then i'm seeing the queen of swords here so there's going to be communication with you and this person as well i'm seeing like this person is very um you know, guarded, very protective. What a beautiful card for the Seven of Wands. How interesting this is. Um, I feel like this person is just guarding the door, um, you know, trying to be protective, trying to fight for you. And at the same time, trying to be very um, respectful to those who are not supposed to be in their business, okay? Um, probably a little bit stern, but, you know, they're not sure how things are going to go with this situation, but they're willing to take a stand, okay, to stand up for themselves. I'm definitely seeing the sun here. So this is some interest in shifts that's happening. Um, the three of wands in reverse. And then we have the ten of swords. So this is going to cost you. I mean, you know, this is going to cost you to do a lot of healing. Because I don't see that you're going back to this person. Or you're giving this person a benefit of a doubt. But there is going to be a shift, okay? Um, where you're going to realize that you're going to need to do some time out for yourself. Or some kind of healing that needs to take place here and i'm definitely feeling it's a lot to do with this person like providing you happiness um and you know stability because you might go back to this person for a time and then you might fall back into the trap of the three of wands this person you know tends to have someone else or taking their lovely time to make a decision or to stand up for what they believe in or you know not chasing you you know this is important like this person is not chasing you how you want them to chase you so you know for many of you you're thinking like this relationship is just not as passionate as you thought you know like this person doesn't want to be with you because the way they're acting they're acting very still and then when they come back it's a little bit too late like you've already moved on and you're already you're like in a different you know time zone in your life and this person just want to drag you back into the past and you're just not ready to go there you know so let's see what else do we have for Scorpio. Scorpio, please. What else do we have for Scorpio full? Okay. Let's see. So we have the five of pentacles. 
we have the nine of wands the temperance the queen of cups and your final card is the princess of wands and then we have the knight of pentacles on the back so definitely feel like this person when it comes to legacy they're not making any movements okay when it comes to an offer or even beginning an opportunity here all right there's some coldness here i feel like there's some um someone feels very scammed or used here as well we have the five of pentacles and we have the five of swords in one you know in the same read so i just feel like this person did a lot of things you know left you maybe you feel like they left you for someone else or they didn't want you they used you okay they used you for your money or you know they scammed you for some of you with this five of swords here um they just wear a whole mask like you didn't see this coming like you didn't expect this person to be this way but i feel like they were signs and you were being warned but you chose to ignore it okay um for some of you anytime this person comes around is to do with either spending a lot of what's coming in and they're not putting anything back so they're putting you in a, a situation where you're losing a lot or you're struggling to paycheck to paycheck um i feel for some of you like you're trying to put an end to this mess but this person is very cold so it's like it's like i'm seeing like they just snap very easily with you you know even if you're trying to have a serious conversation with them it just turns into like a big argument so the nine of wands here which is very interesting as well it's like you're just holding up this relationship but you're, at the same time you're tired you're burnt out you're ready to, to leave the situation you're ready to move forward you, you know for some of you you're still um battling this thing this this relationship these bumps in the road and i'm seeing like your person is also feeling the same way but they're they're really just gonna ride this wave until the very end um, you know, but I don't know if that's something that you truly want, but again, the nine of wands is a very tricky card because, you know, you both are feeling this way for each other. Um, you don't want to let go quite yet. The temperance is also here. I'm seeing self-awareness, self-love, being patient within yourself, being patient with the situation, um, and trying to realize that, Hey, there's a lot of work that needs to be done here. Maybe I need to take some time out for myself because this offer here, I'm getting like twin fame soulmate connection because of this these cards is coming in we have the queen of cups and we have the king of cups you know in the same swatch here that indicates you know you both are hiding or holding back a lot of feelings from each other okay because you still feel you feel the same way but you just know that this is not going to work like you have this inner feeling like this is not going to work you know but you're still like holding on on this hope of happiness between you and this person then we have the princess of wands and i feel like oh, how can i say this i feel like there is going to be some kind of news here there's going to be some kind of conversation because this like this person wants to have a conversation with you this person wants to let you know how they truly feel because it's all passion it's all passion here um it's like a good feeling that they have towards you but at the same time you know how can we make this or incorporate this into love and move forward because i'm feeling like you both are just stuck in a rut honestly like you're stuck in a rut and you just don't know what to do or how to move forward. Anyways, guys, this is what I see for you. I hope this resonates. If this does not, I will have a link in the description box. It will be your playlist. If it does, you guys, remember to like the video and give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. Um, it really helps out the channel to grow. You guys, we're almost at 38 38k so thank you guys for all your love and support and yeah i cannot believe we're moving so quickly towards 40k oh my god this is so crazy um i believe yeah so it's just i it, it just blows my mind like i only been on here a year and you know i was never expecting it to to be at this level of my channel so i thank every one of you for all your love and support you guys let's keep this growing and yeah 
I love you. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do your main today and also your bonus. And yeah, let's get it doing, Scorpio. I'm, I have the energy to get these in and it's a beautiful day today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, I believe today is Thursday. Uh, yeah, Thursday. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye guys.